rhythm, found my fastball command, and then just worked off my fastball and threw my secondary in there for strikes. You um, you got five of your strikeouts looking. What did you, you know, does that kind of speak to how? On you know, it was I struck him out with fastballs, and uh, normally, you know, I strike people out fastball swinging. So it was kind of different to see people. I think it was that two seam. I ran back over the plate, and uh, I, don't know, I guess they weren't expecting it. Sure, it's got good movement. What um, what? How big is it to, to you know? I know it's just one game, but to be able to get off to a good start like this and then build some confidence, especially yeah. some of your freshmen really stepped up in that great game. No, no, I, I enjoyed watching them play. I enjoyed watching everybody play. I think we had a, a really good team win today, and uh, you know I hope to come out tomorrow with the same enthusiasm. We'll come out and get another win. Did you expect the offense to be this explosive in the first game? Uh, I did not, no. I, uh, once we scored three, I thought it was going to be a closed game and I was going to have to pitch, and then you know, they came out and scored three more, so I was like, hey, I got a cushion, you know, let's go, let's go win this ball game. You guys have gone up against Lafayette a lot, and they, they really pride themselves on being aggressive on the base pass. You guys were aggressive on the base. What can that do from a pitcher's perspective when someone, when you're that aggressive, you know, force your pitcher in situations like that? Um, you know, I always think air, you know, on the aggressive side. You know, you're going to run yourself into outs here and there, but, you know, the strategy to be aggressive is usually proves to be successful. And, you know, I think that was just a, a game plan we had started with the game with and continued our, our approach and, you know, proved to be good for us. What is it like from your perspective to be the opening day pitcher? Like, is, it, is there any pregame jitters on opening day or anything uh, like that? Or? You know, this is my third time opening, uh, opening day for us. Um, you can say I'm a veteran now. <laughs> I, uh, I've done it once or twice, so, you know, one thing for me to maintain focus on was this, you know, this is just the first game of the season. There's 16 more starts that I have to, to go through. So, you know, it's, it's good to get the season off on a good start. But, you know, I, I, I know next week I got another game and I got to come out and pitch that one too. So. You told me you relish that role, though, being, being that guy. Yeah, you know, you team. always you wanna always want to be the, the people. You always want to be the person that people trust the most. and. I enjoy being that. I, I come out here with a competitive spirit, and you know, I come out here to try and win. So I think it's just a good, um, I don't know, a good approach to have. <laughs> As one of the older guys, is there anything that you tell the younger guys about? Like this is their first time ever playing college baseball. Is there any yeah. advice you give them or anything like that? Uh, the advice I give them is slow the game down. A lot of a lot of freshmen and newcomers. Uh, you know, it's college baseball is a lot different than high school baseball. The game speeds up a lot, and to be a, a good player at this level, you have to be able to slow the game down and and be able to do stuff like that. And though you know, this is the first game, we still got 50, 54 more so uh, of the season. You know, I plan on going more than fifty four. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yep. All right, thank, thank you. you.